Do you want to develop consistent good habits like reading, going to the gym every day, learning new languages, or practicing new instruments? Or do you want to kick bad habits like eating unhealthy food, biting your nails, watching too much TV? Three years from now, you can have what you need. You got to be careful about it. You can't have everything. You can have what would be good for you, but you have to figure out what it is, and then you have to aim at it. We know that sometimes you can be uncomfortable, but you can be uncomfortable and hopeful rather than uncomfortable and fearful. People go through their lives without knowing what it is they want to do. You don't have to be where you think you want to be in order to be happy. You just got to be on the way to where you want to be in order to be happy. You're going to get what you're looking for. So if you're looking for success, you're looking for happiness, you're looking for prospects, you're looking for recruits or clients, I'm telling you, the more you're consciously looking for those things, you're going to see them. When you're looking to win, you're looking for victory. Sit on your bed one day and ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? And if you actually ask that question, but you have to want to know the answer, right? Because that's actually what asking the question means. It doesn't mean just mouthing the words. It means you have to decide that you want to know. And so be very careful what you set your mind towards, what your outcomes are, because you're going to find them. Your mind's powerful. You're powerful. You're more powerful than you think you are. And if you could just get clear on what you're looking for, get super specific with great clarity, great specificity about what it is you want, it's sitting there for you to find if you look for it. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. Right there and then, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go, not in the direction that they're telling you to go. In other words, you can literally choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. If you're fearful all the time, your point of attraction is very far from what you really want. If you're ornery all the time or a lot of the time, your point of attraction is different from what you want. Your emotions are your indicator of what you're doing vibrationally. You've been listening to us long enough to sort of understand what we mean by that. Don't worry about what needs to be done. Think about who you have to be in order to get it done.